Hello loves, I wanted to show you how I get my Bantu knot out to come out great every time. I'm going to show you how I do it and give you some tips and tricks. If you're interested, make sure you stay tuned. Alright, the first tip I want to give you is start on old hair. When you do your Bantu knot outs on wet hair, they usually turn out tighter and they don't stretch and last as long and your curls aren't as big. This is like a three day old watch and go and I'm just going to separate my hair in sections to assist my hair in maintaining moisture throughout the style. I'm just going to use the lock method starting with um, spritzing my hair with water actually, not a leave-in. Then I'm going to go with um, some coconut oil. Then I'm going to add my uh, cream, which is also my styler. Now on to the styling. What makes this a two-strand twist method, it's not the regular method, is first you're going to two-strand twist your hair, just like a regular two-strand twist. Then you're going to coil your hair upon itself, and you're going to make a bantu knot. A regular bantu knot is just constantly twisting your hair until it becomes a bantu knot itself. But starting with the twist um, helps separate your hair, and it also makes your hair more fuller, and it makes your um, curls a little bit more unique. As you see here, I'm holding the top of the knot and continue to coil the hair as I twist it around the base. Then I secure my bantu knot with a bobby pin. My hair slips easy and it doesn't really grip at the ends so I have to uh, put a, um, a bobby pin in it or a hair pin and then I just continue on with the rest of my hair. Twisting, two strand twisting first, coiling and then making the knot. I wrap up my hair so it air dries overnight. I just put on a satin bonnet and uh, this one I actually won from International Hair Meetup Day. I won a bonnet on that day from Youth Bonnets. I'll put the information down below if you're interested in getting one. Um, but it's really nice and it comes with a scrunchie as well as a carrier bag. And I'm just going to sleep on it. And the next morning is the takedown. I'm just going to cover my hands in coconut oil and go ahead and um, take out my hair. The main reason for covering your hands in oil before you take down your hair is to reduce frizz and also it adds extra shine to your hair. So to take out the knot, you're just going to twist it the opposite direction and then unravel the twist just the regular way you do it, rolling it around your fingers the opposite way and then separating. As you go taking out the bantu knots, you just want to separate as your hair naturally separates. Just feel along your hair to see where it breaks apart on its own and separate it from there. Now, once all the knots and the twists are out, you're gonna go ahead and shape your hair the way you want it using your pick. Only go at the root. This is another tip on making your style last. Keep um, your pick at the root, just set, pull it up once, it can give you some height and some volume and it'll separate your parts and also maintain the curl at the end. Just go lightly throughout your hair and shape it as you desire. Um, try not to run your fingers through, it keeps the look longer. So here's my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the information for the products that I use will be down in the description box below. If you have any more questions, just leave me a comment or send me an email and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.